lesson is our last uh, sort of easy lesson for a while. Uh, this one's on equations of circles, and we're going to graph circles. So uh, the next lesson will be on ellipses and stuff. I'll try and make those easy and stuff as well. But uh, uh, this one, uh, like I said, is the next ones are a little bit more challenging. Okay, so uh, not to scare you guys. You guys will be fine. So a circle is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point. Uh, it's called the center of the circle. Whoops, I didn't need to do that yet. Called the center of the circle, and the distance uh, is called the radius. And this is, uh, this is not anything new, you guys. This is our radius right here. This point right here, it's all of these points right here. This XY point, this XY point, all of these XY points going around that are the same distance away from the center. Okay, and that distance is called radi uh, the radius. Okay, nothing new. Okay, all right, when you're writing equations of circles, the standard equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And these are circles that have the center 0, 0. We'll move these off of the center here in a couple of sections from now, but uh, for now we're going to be centered at 0, 0. So it's x squared plus y squared equals your radius squared, whatever your radius is. Okay? All right, so given that right there, you guys, let's go ahead and graph uh, y squared equals 36 minus x squared. Identify the radius of the circle. Okay, what we need to do first is to add x squared to both sides to put it in standard form. And, and notice uh, 36 is 6 squared, so I can see that my radius is going to be 6. Okay, because it asked us to label or give us the radius of 6. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is, um, and I, I made this graph go by 2s because I just didn't want to count out 6, you guys. So here's 2, 4, 6. So I'm going to put a little boundary right there, a little boundary down here at negative 6, a little boundary over here at 6, and a little boundary right there at 6. And then that's going to be my boundary for my circle. And then I'm just going to take my pencil or pen or whatever. It's going to be my whiteboard pen but I'm just going to draw a general circle. That's just my boundary, okay? That's my graph, really easy, okay? All right, so there it is right there, and here's, here's the picture of it, nice clean picture. There it is right there, and typically we write the equation next to our graph. So this was the equation they gave us. So um, uh, actually, they gave it to me like this instead. So uh, this is how they had it in the book, you guys, so sorry. But anyways, write the equation. You can write this one right here, y squared equals 36 minus x squared. Just write it next to the circle right there. Remember in algebra when you wrote equations of lines next to the lines that you graph? All right, so um, let's try uh, this. The point negative 4, 7 lies on the circle whose center is at the origin. So write the standard form of the equation of the circle. Okay, so our goal is to get it in this form, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, well, we need to figure out r, and to figure out r, since the circle is going through that, we're going to use distance formula with zero, with the origin, I mean. So the distance formula right here will get us uh, our radius, okay? And then we need our radius squared. Here's distance formula. This is something uh, that you guys need to know because it's going to appear over and over and over again. So distance formula, whichever way you choose to do it. So I, only, I need r squared. So, so this is r, so r squared is to get rid of the radical right there. So I'm just going to do... Uh, this minus 0 squared plus this minus 0 squared, and I get 65. That's r squared right there. So that's what goes right there. So x squared plus y squared equals 65. Okay, nice and easy. All right, this one's a little more challenging. So let's see. So write an equation of the, of the line that's tangent to the circle, because this is a circle. The radius is the square root of 13, which is uh, like 4 point something. Let's see. No, it's not even 4 point something. It's uh, 3 point something. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So this is a little bit more than three and a half because uh, that's a little bit farther between uh, nine to sixteen. Anyways, and then we're going to have this tangent line out here, the tangent line to the circle right here. Okay, so let's get an idea what this kind of thing looks like. Go ahead and draw uh, a graph right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and plot this point negative three two. So I'm going to go to the left three up two and plot that point right there. And remember, the radius is the square root of thirteen. So for graphing purposes. I got the decimal 3.6, okay? So if this, is, if this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4, 3.6 is going to be like right about there. So I'm going to put my boundaries like I did on the last one right there. And then I'm going to draw this circle right here. And look, that point is right on the circle. It's going to be money right on that circle, okay? So there's my circle when I do that, okay? And remember from geometry, you guys, <clears throat> that the radius that's drawn to the point of tangency is perpendicular right there. So we want to get the equation of this green line right here. Well, remember, y equals mx plus b. 
or y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. I, I, I noticed my kids kind of flinch at that one a little bit more. So I'm going to do y equals mx plus b on this one. Okay, but I need the slope. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I need the slope of that guy. So um, uh, I'm going to, I need to get the slope. I know what the point it's going through. I just need the slope. Well, I can get the slope of this line because I know these two points, you guys. So I'll use slope formula to get the slope of those two guys right there. Okay, and then, um, so the perpendicular slope is go, once I get the slope of that, let's go ahead and get that right here. Okay, so it's negative two-thirds. So the perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. So it's going to be a positive three-halves. Okay, so this says the slope of the tangent line is uh, three-halves because it's perpendicular. So they're opposite reciprocals. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. And then I'm going to go ahead and substitute in my point to get b. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in. That's y. That's x right there. That's going to go in for that y and that x. And that's going to get me b. So when I substitute that in, I get b equals 13 halves. See here I get, um, uh, this, is, this is negative 9 halves, and then 2 is the same as 4 halves. So I did 4 halves plus 9 halves, and I added it over there, and it got me 13 halves. So that's b, okay? So my equation is going to be uh, y equals mx plus b, so y equals 3 halves x plus uh, 13 halves. Okay, that would be the answer right there. Alrighty, and then uh, one last little piece, you guys. If they ask you to graph, say, shading on the inside or the outside, if it's an equation of a circle like this, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, but it's greater than, then that means we shade the outside of the circle. If it's less than, that means we shade the inside of the circle. That just means all the x, y points that are less than the radius away. This means all the x, y points that are greater than the radius away. So a picture of this would be something like this. This would be my greater than r squared. This would be my less than r squared, okay? Both are equations of circles. x squared plus y squared equals r squared, okay? So if they ask you to shade, and if it was greater than or less than, this would be a dotted line, okay? So if you're just graphing one of them, it would be a dotted, not line, but a dotted circle. Alrighty, okay, if you're in my class, that would be the homework I would assign you.